Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Hey Allie. Thanks, BA. Well, the NBA's play-in tournament is exciting. It's a way to keep teams in the mix, but it's had its share of critics. Luka Doncic said, quote, I don't understand it. You play all season to get into the playoffs. Then maybe you lose two in a row and you're out? I don't see the point. Guys? Yeah, Alley team's definitely motivated to stay in the top six. Good stuff there. Thank you. And here in October, we have a little indication of what may be coming in the East. You take a look at Philadelphia, and they've got the top spot of the conference, a testament to their hard work all year long. And, of course, Detroit, currently a ways below. Now let's check out the starters for the Detroit Pistons. We've got Amadou Diallo. Cunningham is out there with Josh Jackson. Then it's Isaiah Stewart, and it's Grant in at the four spot. And for the 76ers, Green and Harris, the forwards. Seth Curry is out there with D'Angelo Russell, and it's Embiid in at the five. And some new faces and new places this year, Grant. How long do you think it takes for a new player to fit in? Well, you know, some players never fit in, but depending upon the style, it varies from player to player. And it's the Sixers to start out. Russell with the ball. Pass to Harris. And here's Embiid. Stewart defends. Nifty move. And Embiid with the lay-in. That's a nice soft touch from Embiid. He's so smooth for a guy this size. Scoring inside for him. He looks effortless. Now here's Grant. Here's Cunningham. Back to Grant. The rebound by Embiid. Finds Russell. Pass to Harris. Outside Curry. Embiid against Stewart. And stolen by Stewart. The drive by Grant. Up and over Russell. Diallo on the wing. Here's Cunningham. Guarded by Russell. Shot clock at six. And Seth Curry is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. performance and that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad the coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle first quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by back to Russell from six feet away yep that one goes this shows you how well rounded Joel Embiid's game is becoming. What a good team maybe is. Just looking for his own. Pass to Graham. And Embiid with the block. He's just a little off his game is good. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Left side, Russell. To the middle. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Russell. You know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Now here's Grant. 23 points his last outing. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. This early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Diallo against Green. Grant with a steal. And now the Pistons in transition. Finally gets one to go. That makes it one for five in this game. 
Well, it wasn't a pretty start for him, but now he's got a bucket to build on. You look back at the 2014 NBA draft, some of the best players of that class were second-round picks, including Jeremy Grant. Becoming a premier two-way wing, Grant was a steal going 39th overall to Philly. Ooh. Now here's Diallo. We saw him with 19 his last time out. In addition to Jeremy Grant, there were a bunch of great selections in the 2014 second round. Tell me about it. I mean, how about all-star Nikola Jokic? Probably the best player in the draft was a second round. Throw in Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jordan Clarkson, Dwight Powell, amongst the others. I mean, just showing that you can find talent late in drafts. stats how the hustle game has been going for Detroit boy they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end guys and have piled up the steals in the early going and another area where they've been on point is defending the rim a lot of blocks through the first two quarters and the free throw no good we talk about Embiid's surge in production, but it doesn't end there. He said, I want to push my teammates to be better and lead by example. Now here's Harris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Drummond. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the Hey, good luck trying to move Embiid off the block. Joel has position. There's not much anybody can do to stop Grant with a screen on Russell. Here's Cunningham. He makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Now here's Embiid. It's 
rebounded by Grant. And many great players eventually realize that he is greater than me. Yeah, Embiid's main point to this team is play the right way because that's what you can control. He is intelligent, vocal, so funny. Boy, absolutely no rim protection leading to a lot of easy buckets. Pass to Embiid. Outside Russell. Now here's Embiid. Stewart defends. The fader doesn't go for him. And Detroit will go the other way with it. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. Off the road, they got old defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. Now here's Harris. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against New York. Got a piece of it. Pass to Diallo. Kicks it out to Jackson. And Jackson gets double teamed. Diallo outside. Curry against Jackson. The Pistons need to get one up quick. For three, Diallo. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got seven rebounds in the game. To the inside, Drummond. Rebounded by the Pistons. Yeah, he's got four rebounds in the game. That's one of the key components of Drummond's game. He's an intimidating presence on the offensive glass. The Pistons leading. Detroit calls timeout. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And these two teams will face off against one another four times. <laughs> it should be fun. Yeah, plenty of opportunity here, guys, to get on each other's bad side if they weren't already. Good make for some fairly high drama. in for Curry, and it's Maxi in for Russell. And it's tied up with that one. And 
over his 10 years, Mark, Harris has been remarkably reliable. Yeah, he's as consistent as they come, B.A. He's going to score the ball. He'll rebound in the field. I think he's better now at just making the next pass. And he does it all with a high degree of efficiency. Now here's Bay. Pass to Olenek. Oh, stolen by Harris. Here's Maxi, covered by Diallo. Harris with it. And here's Milton. Step back and fire. Here's Drummond. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. When Drummond's points come, they tend to come inside. He's got a lot of ways to beat you down low. Bay against Harris. Bay. The D's right on him. Clock at six. The three ball. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Drummond's got four rebounds now. Milton passes to Drummond. Now Harris. He's covered by Bay. On the line. Harris misses. Detroit has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Here's Lee. How quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Two minutes remaining in the first. First down low. He's covered by Bay. Pass to Milton. A minute 50 left in the first quarter. Officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. At the line for your Sixers, Matisse Thibault. Two shots. Free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first quarter. On the wing, Bay. Back to lead. To win the drought. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Down low. Here's Drummond. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Drummond's got eight. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Lee. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Bay. Just three on the clock. And that's two points 
the on the layup. Ball. You know, that's not how you scream for your game. But ultimately, they still found a way to come away with the hoop. Joel Embiid, he's feeling it tonight. And has been the driving force for the 76ers. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. We'll be right back after this word. being more aggressive um you know just look to impose myself just look to dominate i guess i need to go back to having fun and just dominate then uh, i guess the process continues grant and with big men it's got to be a team effort you got to feed him the rock ba inside and help him get it going Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. Had a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And also, as soon as we got underway tonight, they began pounding the offensive class for those putbacks. We've got Shake Milton. Green out there with Matisse Thibel. Then there's Tyrese Maxey, and it's Drummond in at the center position. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And last season, the NBA expanding eligibility for two-way players. Clark, great to see those who seize the opportunity and secure full NBA contracts. Yeah, B.A., I could not agree with you more. I mean, it's all about performance. The guys show they're capable of playing at the highest level. They should have that chance. I love the flexibility of the roster. Giving hungry to earn their way onto the big league team. Here's Lee. Drummond defending. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. It's his first foul of the game. And the 76ers get some changes. Embiid comes in for Drummond. And it's Curry in for Milton. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Stewart, he's checked in for Olenek. Stewart. Here's Lee. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And there's the foul. It's on Joel and B. That's his first foul. Cunningham's checked in for the Pistons. Now to the lineup for the Pistons. Dave Cunningham. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Green against Bay. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. Again, the miss by the Pistons. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous step, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, Brian. Jeremy Grant, the 39th pick back in 2014, has become a leader for the distance. He said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to keep growing. I don't want to be stagnant. I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Allie. Here's Maxi. And you can count We'll roll the line with a chance at a three-point play. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Thirteen foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Tyrese Matthews. Shooting one. We're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. 
Here's Cunningham missing. And the 76ers with possession. They're rolling here. Nine unanswered. You know, many people refer to Jim Bean as the best big in the league right now. Largely because there isn't a hole in his game. And he does a lot of everything. And as big as he is, his agility and shooting touch is off the charts. They've got nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Grant with a screen on Russell. Pass to Grant. Attempt away. Over to the wing. Five to shoot. Stewart, screen on Russell. Here's Cunningham. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his second personal That's on Joel and B. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. You know, Cade Cunningham has proven he can get it done on offense. Now, check this out. Back in college, he racked up 13 points in just 91 seconds of play. Free throw is good. Cunningham's ability to find points really is impressive, Grant. You hope he has as much success in the league as he did in college. And yeah, B.A., with his pure shooting ability, I know he has what it takes. He just needs to put in the work and be ready to adapt to league play. He's perfect from the line this time. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Now here's Russell. Defense right on him. And Bay pulls it down. Well, the Pistons shooting 32% for this game. Not what they're hoping for. Takes a step back. Here's Cunningham. And he knocks down the 10-footer. Cunningham's got four points now in the quarter. And somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive blow. To Thibault. Embiid with it. Score defends. Well, the jumper's good from inside six feet. Embiid's got 12 points. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. Here's Cunningham. Give him eight. And it's blocked by Embiid. Incredibly light footed at seven feet tall. MB can cover a lot of ground defensively. 
Here's Curry. Up top, Embiid. Back to Curry. Embiid against Jackson. Embiid inside. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Pistons have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. Back to Bay. Stewart, a screen on Green. Bay with it. Picked up by Embiid. Short that time. Clean look from mid range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Here's Cunningham. Give him eight points now. Grant outside. Pass to Cunningham. Trying to get back on track. And it's blocked by a five -hole. Three for three. Get it to drop, and Detroit will go the other way with it. Following this game, they host the Magic. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Picked by Stewart. Pass to Bay. Green with the defensive effort. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from them, guys. I mean, they're to erase this deficit. He's got to step up. And another miss by Philadelphia. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Here's Cunningham, guarded by Russell. And it's blocked by Thibault. And he gets it back. Thibault with a steal. Pass to Russell. Screen by Embiid.
here for the 76ers. Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Harris comes in for Green. And Milton subbed in for Curry. Trailblazers. First one falls for him. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. Good from the strike. Yeah, you can just see it in Corey Joseph. He loves to hoop. I mean, he's a talented offensive player who also gets after it on defense. Pass to Harris. And there is a whistle. Kind of goes on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Detroit has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. It's Stewart, high post. The kick to Olenek. Two minutes in the yellow up top. He's got five. Pass to Joseph. Six on the shot clock. Olenek for three. Drummond grabs the miss. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Now here's Harris. 
gets it to drop. Now two or four. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Well, the defensive rotation has been a step slow. And it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Here's Joseph. Takes it inside. Ooh, good work defensively by Milton. Here's Maxi. Pass to Harris. left in the first half. Milton, the three. The rebound by Diallo. And the Pistons shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect. So we'll head to the line for two. At the line for the Pistons, Corey Joseph. Shooting one. job getting to the line here you know he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative much more aggressive here in the second there's 49 seconds left in the second picked by Stewart Diallo with the ball and Drummond picks him up defensively oh Drummond with the block a really good shot blocker I like how Drummond times it up and he goes after those rejections. Well done. Just four to shoot. Now here's Diallo. Tight defense on him. Ooh, tough break there. Shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. A hand on it, and they'll get another chance. to the paint. And stolen by Stewart. Here's Joseph. He buries it from three. Joseph has got six. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finding his offense. Drummond, the screen on Olenek. Hits the front of the rim and out. And we've reached halftime in this one. The Sixers on top. They lead by 13. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here now with Dwayne Casey. Coach, how do you assess your shot selection and your decision-making offensively? Well, we had some good looks. We just got to make sure we keep our boys in composure and knock them down. We had some good looks. We knew they were going to come out with a lot of juice, a lot of speed, a lot of quickness. We made some mistakes defensively, not matching up quick enough. So, again, we got to keep our composure and stay with our game plan defensively. Good luck. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Hey, everybody. Nothing like a little trade news to perk up your day. We'll take a look first at some transactions around the NBA. And guys, what does it feel like when you're moved to another team? Shaq, uh, why don't you tell us? You you know you got traded how many times? Uh, always on my own terms, Kenny. The deals are always called the shots. Do not forget it. Mm. Oh, that's right. You were you were free agent. You didn't always get traded. Yes. And now turning our attention to this game, we have seen a very confident performance for the 76ers. Their control of the boards is a big reason for this lead. Seems like it might have been their game plan coming in. Send multiple guys to the rim when the shot goes up. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. Maybe things will tighten up here in the second. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. 
a very lopsided first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And Detroit, let's look at who they've got. Josh Jackson is out there with Cunningham. Then it's Aladu Diallo. Then it's Jeremy Grant. And it's Stewart in at the center position, locking down the middle. Outside Russell. Pass to Harris. Back to Russell. Six to shoot. Outside Curry. Over Jackson. Curry's shot is off. And for the Pistons, they're shooting a very low 27% so far in this one. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, there's an annual survey of NBA executives. Going into last season, the Pistons were selected for a worst offseason. But with the promise of their young players, guys, some optimism that the rebuild in the lower city is off to a strong start. Physical, defensive minded, Allie. That's Detroit basketball, isn't it? Diallo, pass to Grant. Shoots over Curry, and Grant gets it to go. Man, that is almost the perfect arc on that mid-range J from Grant. You can see evidence of the work he's put in to improve that jump shot of his. Now here's indeed. Well, points for him. Nails it from three. Russell's got five goals. Guess the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough, but he lost contact. And D'Angelo Russell, looking at his career, he's slowly becoming a more efficient player, learning his strengths and his limitations. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway, take the shot that's available. Harris against Grant. Screen by a B. Here's Harris. And Harris throws it down. Big man coming through. Have to enjoy watching Harris attack Grant with that kind of cross. And for Russell, he's still a volume scorer. But now I think he's better at picking the spots. And you can live with his percentages. I mean, he's improved his shot from the outside. It seems like he's always looking to refine his game. And it's Cunningham missing. In Philadelphia, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Curry passes to Russell. And here's Embiid. Stewart defends. Green against Diallo. Pass to Cunningham. Now here's Grant. Here's Cunningham. He's got 12. Back to Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. You know what? When you allow Grant to get close to the rim, you risk seeing him give you a facial right in your grill. I mean, tremendous athleticism from the Syracuse alone. Embiid gets the bucket. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play this score. He just keeps on attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Cunningham. There's Jackson with the three. Sinks it from distance. And you know, Jackson is terrific at shooting off the catch. That's a credit to his footwork and his shot readiness before the ball arrives. Now here's Harris. Inside. And it's Jeremy Grant with a foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the Pistons making a change here. Base checks in. Here's Russell. He's got five. Screen by Embiid. And stolen by Bay. Jackson outside. Pass to Cunningham. Picked by Stewart. Shot from 12. And again, it's Detroit converting. So far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunity. Timeout call for the 76ers.
they keep piling on the assist guys. They haven't pulled off any in that regard. They've also been pounding it inside tonight and coming away with a lot of points in the paint. I call those PIPs. The first one falls. You know, the first thing that jumps out at you when you look at Grant is his athleticism. I mean, this guy is a terrific dunker and finishes well around the basket even when he doesn't dunk. them both and we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half yeah you know what and i think they just got to keep on keeping on keeping drawing contact attacking get into the line that will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game most nights this shot would have been his but the defender gave him just enough trouble pass to lee to the inside Right side. Got a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Milton against Bay. Milton passes to Drummond. And the jam! Oh, Drummond. Oh, Real tenacity from Drummond there. Battles to the foul for the end one. Oh, he did at this point in his career, I think it's safe to say Andre Drummond will go down as one of the game's premier rebounders. And just don't call him a specialist because there's a lot more to Drummond's game than just rebounding. Rim protection, points in the paint. He does just about everything you want in a big man. When he's on the floor, he lightens the load on every other member of their front court. Falls for Drummond. Detroit has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Here's Joseph. He's got six. Pass to Graham. Outside for Bay. And there's a three second violation. That's a costly error. Let's see how they bounce back. But you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Pass to Green. Now here's Embiid. Here's Joseph, covered by Milton. Green against Bay. Olenek with the ball. Just three to shoot. Here's Lee. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Drummond's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Out to the right wing. Outside Milton. Screen by Embiid. Milton attacking. And the layup is good off the glass. And the 76ers lead by 16. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Bay. Left side Olenek. Pass to Joseph. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up, action. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Diallo's checked in for the Pistons. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 13-4 run. Here's Drummond. And Diallo comes to help. Down low. Here's Milton. It's deflected. Lays it up and banks it in. Milton's in the second basket of the game. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Has to 
Bay. Olenek with a screen on green. Bay against green. Back to Lee. Shoots over Maxi. Lee misses. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now here's Milton. 18 points separating these teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Pass to Embiid. On the right block. And that one's good. Embiid's got 18 points. Embiid has such balance and agility for me. He's able to work through contact and still finish with touch. Here's Lee. Screen by Olenek. Lee into the lane. It goes. Jam that one home. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's ready by Drummond. The Pistons make the switch. Stewart's checked in. Cool. Pass to Lee. And Shake Milton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Out left to the wing. Olenek passes to Stewart. Here's Lee. Clock at six. Over Embiid. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yes, yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will of taking control on the glass. And he drills it from deep. The strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And it's out of bounds. Pistons able to retain possession here. Nine seconds left to play in the third quarter. Here's Joseph. Three-pointer. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. They're feeling great. A 21-point lead. Defense is setting the tone. We'll be right back. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm Assist to the Game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Well, clearly he's the guy that stirs the drink for him. That's how he does it, with his dynamite passing skills. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works, or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. They've got Joel Embiid. Seth Curry is out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then there's Tobias Harris. And it's Drummond in at the five down low. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Here's Cunningham. Pass to Jackson. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now. And you were a big part of making that happen, Grant. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. And to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa. It's not just a great investment, but you're also doing the right thing, spreading the game, sharing the game, and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings them. Harris' shot is good. You know, he talked a lot about athleticism, guys. It's important. And right there, Harris used his well to create for himself. Here's Cunningham. Up and over Russell. Joel Embiid pulls it down. 
Embiid's got his 18th rebound here tonight, all over the place. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is going. Drummond, the screen on Diallo. Harris passes to Drummond over Diallo. And there's Drummond. That one's good. On the assist by Harris. He has good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And he lobs it up to the rim! Hammers the lob through. Just flawless timing right there, right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. And it all had to be because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. Now, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. I'm sure it would make things a lot easier, too. Here's Cunningham. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Harris, no good that time. Some solid defense from Stewart. To the middle. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Outside Russell. Pass to Drummond. Back to Russell. Harris on the wing. Drummond with the screen. Shot clock at six. Drummond with the jam. Showing off some mobility there. When Drummond rolls like this, he's hard to stop with pick and roll. The Pistons have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Detroit calls timeout. A low maintenance star. I mean, Harris gives you the greatness without the ego. Really, a coach's dream. secrets that happen in that moment. Typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of the timeout that might be major or could 
could be just a slight tweak. Cunningham. 
Detroit, no good that time either. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Now Russell, Harris outside. Back to Russell. Pass to Drummond. Outside for Russell. 4 3. Rebound Detroit. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Cunningham. Guarded by Russell. Looking to get back on track. Oh, Drummond with the block. Grant, the pass to Jackson. Indeed, with the board. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Russell. Well, Grant, it seems like each year play in the NBA becomes a little more wide open and a little less physical. Yeah, it's definitely changed the A, which you look for in the player today. Now, if you're overly aggressive, you always be in trouble and a little used to your team. So being able to control your aggression. Survive in Green's checked in for the First Sixers. Team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Joel and Green. At the line for one. The free throw drops for Embiid. And I remember watching him beat in college. You know, he was hurt that one year he played in college, so you didn't see a lot of him. But his development was absolutely incredible. He didn't just get better over the course of the season. A lot of times he didn't prove over the course of a single game and even within a game. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over-anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. He just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Now here's Embiid. Knocks it loose. Grant with a steal. Pass to Cunningham. Up and over Russell. Now Jackson. He's covered by Curry. Here's Cunningham. Spins. Takes a 13-footer. Grant's shot is off. Good offense beats good defense. Not always. Curry against Jackson. Screen by Embiid. Curry passes to Drummond. To the inside. The kick out. Curry. Shoots over Jackson. Offensive rebound. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. When he's got ideal position inside. MB goes right foul. into the contact. He hunts it out. At the line for Philadelphia, Joel MB. At the line for two. Two. First free throw is good. Well, the NBA has said, we're in a transformational period. We have to earn viewers. Clark, moves like the play-in tournament looking to attract those viewers. Well, you know what, B.I.? I like the initiative the NBA has taken there. Clearly, you have to continue to create and innovate and adapt as a league. I think it's smart to try new things, and I think the play-in tournament added a level of excitement, not just with its, new, its newness, but with the competitive nature of those play-in games. So I think it's something that may find its way as part of the regular calendar going forward. Here's Cunningham. Jackson on the wing. He's covered by Curry. Jackson, the pass to Olenek. Curry against Jackson. Over Curry. The shot won't fall. The 76ers go the other way with it. Pass to Embiid. Now here's Green. Now here's Embiid. Stewart defends. Back to Drummond. Now Green. Embiid finds Drummond. Over Olenek. And another miss by Philadelphia. Here's Cunningham. He's covered by Curry. 
to Olenek. Diallo outside. A shot to stop the throw! Rebound by the 76ers. Green's got four rebounds in the game. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the 76ers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with the win in the first game. Especially because they're going to get together three more times this season. We love to get an opponent figured out early. We're going to be seeing that often. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games from Joel and B. And you can't put a price on the value of his rebounding in this game. His effort on the glass was a game changer. Now here's Russell. The three. to Cunningham. Here he goes, looking to get it going. The shot misses. Excellent D there from Embiid. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game you've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Tobias, congratulations on the win. Do you sense this team is building good chemistry? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is us continuing to find our identity. Uh, and what we are learning is we're a great team once we get stops and once we're able to run, get out of transition. Uh, we just continue to find each other's similarities and our personalities as we play together. Guys, as the year goes on, they continue to get closer. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.